Hi parents, welcome to another week of your journey. By now, some eagles on Hero's journey are settling into a routine and see smooth sailing ahead. Others are pushing through important challenges and many have no idea of what may be just around the corner. On a hero's journey, there's always a sense of adventure, which can be spontaneous and fun, but it also means you don't know what challenges lie ahead. As a parent, you may already be experiencing a real struggle your child has encountered, or possibly a bigger, more important struggle is yet to come. Either way, here's what I do know. Your child will inevitably face a struggle that is particularly hard for you as a parent. Many times, the hardest struggles are the ones we faced ourselves, bringing back the tender feelings of pain and heartache. I know that's been true for me. As a parent, you just might be entering the final showdown, a normal and important part of the hero's journey but the most difficult part of the journey as you must face something you deeply fear. Parent fears are very normal, but as more and more research bears out, our fears are usually not very helpful for the process of learning. Let's look at what is helpful on an Acton hero's journey. In a learner-driven community, there are three specific ways that we see young people struggle. One, resistance. Two, victimhood. And three, distraction. Turns out these are the same three temptations that most adults struggle with. Our goal is to help your young hero learn to solve his or her own problems in a supportive community with a set of tools to empower them. There are no victims at Acton Academy because there is always a tool that you can use to assist you. And if that one doesn't work, there's always another one that may be invented by your eagle. The first tool is the studio contract. This is created by the eagles in the first session as part of the Build the Tribe quest. Each hero has the power to uphold the contract firmly and kindly. As the contract evolves, it will likely have a layer of accountability where an eagle can request an eagle buck from another hero who continues to break their promises. A hero who continues to break contract promises in their studio could eventually be asked to leave the community. So the power is real and an important part of learning to set boundaries and to keep promises in a community. Poor behavior will quickly stop if fellow heroes develop the courage to uphold the contract promises. So encourage your child to use the systems that are already in place. The second tool is town hall meetings. If your child is facing a problem that other heroes face, you can challenge them to bring it up in a town hall meeting. Town hall meeting is a safe place for studio issues to be raised, discussed, and voted on. Each hero has a voice that can change the community. Town hall can drive some parents crazy. The rules keep changing. There are raging debates that go on sometimes for months, and eagles cannot seem to decide what is right for their community. Sounds a lot like the headlines of the political section of the newspaper, doesn't it? Yes, governance is hard. And a democracy is a hotbed of discussion, argument, and change, as it should be. But even on its most chaotic and difficult day, it is infinitely better than the dictatorship of conventional schooling. The third tool is conflict resolution. If your child has an outstanding issue with another eagle, challenge them to go to the peace table and sort it out. Guides are always available to facilitate conflict resolution. And so please encourage your eagle to use them when necessary. Our conflict resolution process is based on Marshall Rosenberg's nonviolent communication work. It's also known as NBC, and it follows a fairly simple process of I feel, 
I need or want, so could you please. For example, when you leave your shoes in the hall, I almost trip over them, which scares me. I want to walk without tripping. Could you please put your shoes on the shoe shelf next time? Simple, but not always easy to remember, especially in the heat of the moment. I encourage you to read more about nonviolent communication and use it at home. There are resources in the parent drive. Okay, parents. So let's say your child tells you something that happened at Acton. Before you react, I want to ask you to ask yourself these questions. Number one, is a child being intentionally harmed, either physically or emotionally? If so, immediately email your guide and encourage your eagle to talk about it with a guide. Number two, does this bother my child or just me? If it is just me who has my sense of unfairness or indignation awakened, but my eagle is fine, it's best to wait and observe. Trust that your child will figure it out. Third, does this bother my child for more than a few days? Encourage them to use the tools they have to make the studio a better place to be. In most cases, a hero knows the courageous action they must take to transform a situation, but they would rather invite a parent to step in and take care of it and to rescue them. Of course they would, because it takes less courage and strength in the short run to let others be our saviors. But wise parents know that our children have the intelligence compassion, logic, and communication skills to deal with their own problems. And that as they practice dealing with problems, so they increase their ability to solve them. So resist the temptation to rescue or solve and instead just listen and say, wow, that sounds hard, but I trust that you can handle it. Let me know how it goes. One day soon, your child will be driving going to parties, dating, and having unlimited access to the internet. You will not always be there to help, nor should you be. These small struggles now will pay huge dividends in the future, trust me. If you're still frustrated that your child is facing a big challenge but isn't taking action, resist the urge to break the parent contract and intervene. In this scenario, I like to ask a few additional questions. Number one, am I as a parent feeding this story? In other words, do I care so much that my child senses it and enjoys the attention or the drama? Number two, is it possible that I don't know the full story? We often see young heroes who share only a part of the story to please parents, and understandably so. This often results in a big problem that your child seems to do nothing about. Let me tell you a little story. My mother was the admissions director for years at my own high school in St. Louis, not while I was there. And one thing she always told parents on open house night was, let's make a deal. We will only believe half of what your child says happens in your home if you only believe half of what they say happens here at school. <laughs> Too funny. One thing that tends to be particularly hard for parents is the sense of fairness. In a community of developing heroes, it will sometimes be unfair, but I can assure you it is more fair than anything they will encounter in the future or at a conventional school where your child has zero decision-making power, zero input into the rules, and doesn't even have the ability to go to the bathroom without permission. Is that fair? Acton processes and systems are designed to create transparency and high standards of excellence, which includes following due process in almost every situation. So, though a situation may seem difficult, it is unlikely that the experience your child is facing is truly unfair. So it is better to take the opportunity to share experience from your own life about how life is often unfair 
and encourage your child to pick up the tools they have to make the studio a better place. A Hero's Journey offers you an opportunity to take on a new adventure, inevitably facing difficult trials and facing some difficult dilemmas. Courage, grit, perseverance to push through, those are the things that give a hero a chance to, tr to transform. I promise you that your child will grow from each struggle that they face. Acton is the safest place to learn some of life's greatest lessons. If you can trust your child, trust the process, encourage and empathize, your child will grow in ways you could never have imagined. Check the parent drive for that parent contract some excellent blog posts by Laura Sandifer, and this handy list of victim versus hero questions in Spanish. You've got this, parents. Have a great day.